How to use Auto Reframe function in Premiere Pro. Here's a good example of how Auto Reframe works. She follows the main subject in the frame and places it in the center of the new sequence. With its help, you can make a video from a vertical video with the aspect ratio you need. And now, we will learn how to do it. Here we have an open sequence with an aspect ratio of 9 to 16. I will use a plugin from Easy Edit Studio to find videos that suit us. There is a huge amount of GIFs, images and videos in this tab. Let's use a search engine. And from a huge number of videos, we will choose what we need. Click the import button, and the video is directly on the timeline. Easy Edit Viewer plugin is a great helper in your work. The link to download it, we will leave in the description. Right click and select. Scale to frame size. We have stretched the original video to fill the entire frame. But since the object is moving, it comes out of the frame and it doesn't work out well. I will copy this video. I'll go to the effects tab and add an effect. Auto reframe. The effect was analyzed in this video and let's see the difference. Turn off the top layer. In the first version, the girl is behind the scenes. She is not even visible. And in the video where we applied the effect, it is in the center of the frame. And while driving, it always remains there. Now on the video, it turned out a little shaking. You can remove this in the effect settings. In the motion tracking section, select slower motion. In the first video, I will add more transparency and see the difference. You can clearly see how the effect is coping at the beginning of the video. Let's move on to the next sequence, with an aspect ratio of 1 to 1. Also select the video from the Assets tab. Scale to frame size. In the Motion tab, we can repeat this effect manually. But it will be much longer and more difficult to hammer such a result. Change the position and arrange the keys so that the subject is always in the center of the frame. It didn't work out badly.
Now I will remove these keys and return them to their original position. And now, in two clicks, we will do the same. Using the effect. There are slight vibrations. Let's set slower motion. And we got a great, square video. Let's move on to the 16x9 sequence. Here I created a short video from the footage that I found using Easy Edit Viewer. Here we got a short video and added transitions from the animation set for YouTube. Please note that in all frames, the girl is on the left or right side. And if we just move it to the vertical sequence, we won't see it. but right clicking on the sequence and by selecting the auto reframe sequence item we can apply the effect to the entire sequence at once here we write the name in this line select the aspect ratio or the custom line to create your own settings check the nested clips checkbox this will leave all of our videos in their original format and not apply transitions to them We are waiting for the effect to be fully loaded on all videos. And we immediately see that the location of the object has changed. But at the same time, she is always in the center of the frame. If you liked this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. We have a tutorial on popular themes for Premiere Pro and After Effects. See you in the next tutorial.